of the 2017 referendum violence have launched a suit against former Spanish officials for crimes against humanity. Hello, this is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Former Spanish law enforcement and the Home Affairs Ministry officials will face a lawsuit for crimes against humanity for the role in the 2017 referendum crackdown. Lawyers and those that were injured on that day filed it before Spain's national court. One of that day's victims of police violence, Roger Espanol, will stand as a candidate for senator in the November 10th Spanish election. He lost an eye to a rubber bullet and he's now joined the former president Carles Puigdemont's party. Per portar les conseqüències de la única violència que hi va haver aquell dia 1 d'octubre a primera fila d'aquells que la van ordenar. 1 d'octubre, ni oblit ni perdó. Only dictatorships jail peaceful political leaders. This message could be read on a banner yesterday at Camp Nou before FC Barcelona's Champions League match. Unionist parties criticized the initiative launched by pro-independence groups. Forma part de la responsabilitat del club uh, intentar doncs, que les pancartes que surtin no siguin ofensives o amb, de caràcter antidemocràtic. Hotel owners have rejected Barcelona's plans to raise its tourist tax to 4 euros. The parliament needs to greenlight this move for it to be enforced. Valdebron Hospital aims to fight migraines by opening the first research center in Spain dedicated to this disease. 900,000 people are thought to suffer from this condition in Catalonia. La migraña es una enfermedad genética que es hereditaria que se manifiesta con ataques que son discapacitantes y que generan mucha carga de enfermedad. Some might think that Barça's Leo Messi is an acrobat with a ball. Among those is Cirque du Soleil. Its Messi 10 show is ready to launch in Barcelona next Thursday.